I'm here to tell you some home truths when it comes to timing your golf swing. A really big warm welcome back to the channel. Today, let's talk timing. Timing is one of those ingredients that everybody references. Oh, if I golf swing was a little bit more technically sound, I wouldn't have to rely on the timing down at the bottom of the ball. Let's make one thing, <laughs> let's make one thing perfectly clear here. Every single golf swing needs timing. If you are sold the picture that if you had better technical attributes, you would rely less on timing, you are being lied to. Quite frankly, because timing is a collection of movements to make something go, in this case, straight. So the timing is the very ingredient that gels all of those moving parts together. Now, some people believe that if you worry more about the timing, you have to get around poor technique. Well, let me tell you, that is absolute garbage. The attributes that make people believe timing is, a, is something poor to rely on is when people talk about their arms and their bodies out of sequence. If their body is moving quicker than their arms, that the club down at the bottom needs to be timed to find it straight. If the arms are moving too much, the body's not moving at all, how much it needs to be timed down at the bottom. As I say, these are factually incorrect. If we understand that in a golf swing, from the minute we take the golf ball away, and by the way, my back, oh, scary times last week, MRI, I was in a bad place with my back, but the wonderful wizardry of a physiotherapist, oh my goodness, I'm in, a, and some serious stretching, much better place. Thanks everyone for the kind words. So from the minute the golf club moves away from the golf ball, that club face has started to point off to the right for a left-handed, for a right-handed golfer. So at the moment that golf club has moved away, that club face is looking over to the right. Let me just show you. This is my broom. If you've not seen it, I've done a little broom series. Here's the golf club pointing at the target. I'm gonna move the club away. The minute I've moved the club away, look how the broom head is now pointing off to that wall. So the minute the club moves away from the golf ball, the club face is pointing to the right. Depending on how much the club face points to the right or doesn't point to the right when you swing the golf club away will be dictated by your technique. And therefore, your technique, even if your club face rotates more away from the golf ball or less away from the golf ball, it does not change the fact that your golf club needs to hinge. And the golf club will hinge. You might be someone that hinges it a lot or someone that doesn't hinge it. But let me tell you, everybody hinges the golf club. And at the point we hinge the golf club, that club now has to unhinge. Where that club unhinges will fundamentally be dependent on where the face is pointing. For people that have a club face wide open in their golf swing and they're coming in to strike er, into the golf ball with a wide open face, their club will unload really hard early to make the club face point straight. For someone that comes in with a club face that is now pointing way more shut will have a tendency to not unload the golf club quite as early to make the golf ball go straight. And so their timing, the second golfer with the more closed club face, has 
still a golf club set and unset. The club face, even though it was closed, as closed as that club face is, that club face is still pointing off over there. It is pointing nowhere near the target. So therefore, that club face still has to have some form of rotation in it relative to the circle to square the face up. Now, the more off you are with the technique, the timing, the timing does not make it any worse or, or any better. That your timing is your timing. What really has an impact is how far off your shots are. When you hit a bad one and you stand there and the ball goes way out to the right, your way out to the right might be more than the guy that doesn't hit it that far right. But let me tell you, to the guy that hits it awfully straight and hits it this far to the right, he feels as uncomfortable hitting it that far right as the guy before hitting it further to the right, the shot before. So we both feel uncomfortable because I've hit that as far right as the wayward golfer hit the shot before right. So both golfers felt equally as uncomfortable as each other. But the timing needed to make the ball go straighter was exactly the same for each golfer. So one swing that's technically better needs no more timing improvements than the one that is less better technically. Don't be sold the journey. Say your golf swing really relies on a lot of timing. Timing is transient. It will come and go. Ultimately, the timing is simply how you use your levers, your body, down at the bottom of the golf ball to make the golf ball go straight. The levers are hinging and unhinging to try to find the target. But timing has nothing to do with it. Timing is the symptom. It is not the bond. It's the symptom. So every golf swing has to have timing. Whether you are good technically or poor technically, timing is timing. When you're timing it well, every golf swing works. When you're timing it poorly, every golf swing is crap. But do not think that when you are technically sound, timing comes any easier. Technically more sound, you might hit it less offline. But let me tell you, when you hit it more offline, it's still a timing issue. The timing is not saving you in the same way the timing is not saving you when you swing it poorly, technically. So the more we get sold this path of you just, that golf swing takes a lot of timing, it's absolute garbage. So my advice to you is if you're looking to gauge or improve your timing in your golf swing. Let's talk about tempo. Tempo is a way to manage how the golf swing behaves. And that's a video I'm gonna to bring to you in the coming weeks. I hope you find this video useful. If you have enjoyed it, do hit the like button, share and subscribe while you're here. And I look forward to seeing you next time.